All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We're tracking storms. Look at this. There are two thunderstorm cells here in Otter Tail County. The north one caused damage, wind damage on the uh, Otter Tail area near Otter Tail Lake in Otter Tail City. On the eastern shores, trees reported to be damaged. A very large tornado went through multiple farmsteads. We're efforting to gather information on the destruction there. And hopefully everyone is safe. It's a dangerous uh, storm. It was well watched and well observed by chasers down there. We had a lot of information and you sent a lot of videos and photos to help us. Now, a couple of things to note about these storms. There are no warnings right now for them, but they continue to produce a lot of lightning. Uh, really, there's two storms, as I pointed out moments ago, and we can kind of split them in half. This stuff heading towards Highway 10 on the north side into New York Mills and just south of Purim and that Frazee area just to the north there. Strong and windy storms making their way there, but they're not severe. Uh, that pulse on those from the winds that caused the damage in Otter Tail seems to be diminishing. This guy down here, that second storm, is still very strong, and it is still rotating very tightly from the radar, even from the far away radar site, as we talked about. We can see the tight greens uh, and reds next to each other in a couple different areas. So we've got tight rotation moving into heading, tight rotating thunderstorm moving up to the north and east, and here's where it's tracking. This one's moving in towards Henning uh, right now as we approach the close of our broadcast. Deer Creek and Wadena will be in the path of these rotating couplets, and there are a couple of areas. I, I know that there are chasers on the storm that will keep us informed. If there is anything that happens with these, we will be able to let you know about it right away. First and foremost, 30, 83 degrees at Hector. It's muggy. It feels like 88. Wind is not too bad out there tonight, and we have temperatures near 80 for most of our northern counties. And right now, things are extremely quiet across eastern North Dakota and northwest Minnesota. But we do have thunderstorms and a chance of thunderstorms from the Southern Valley into Lakes Country tonight. That entire area includes uh, Becker County, Otter Tail County, and the uh, uh, Beltrami County area and points south and east of there until midnight, a severe thunderstorm watch. Our models paint the picture though by about eight to 10 o'clock. This is all out of here and finishing up fairly quickly. Then as we head to bed, it looks like we'll have some spotty showers and quieter conditions. As we head through the deep overnight, some patchy fog will be possible. And the best chance of clouds to start your morning will be from the Red River Valley and points east. Clouds, fog, spotty sprinkle, central Minnesota. Most of us will start our day with temperatures in the 60s, and as we head out the door, we'll have sunshine west and still a few uh, lingering clouds east. A west wind sets up on your Thursday, and it'll get a little stronger. By the midday hour, about 15 to 25 miles per hour, it's going to blow those clouds out of here, dry things up, and things look uh, pretty pleasant for our afternoon, minus a little bit of breezy wind conditions, upwards of 25 miles per hour or so at times. Can't rule out a passing renegade sprinkle and cloud along the international border. We climb from the 60s in Fargo to the mid 70s after sunrise at 5:43 a.m. Mid 80s and sunny for our afternoon. Remember the wind out there, so you need some extra hairspray. Your sun sets at 9:22. Your hometown forecast shows basically all of us enjoying 80s in the south or near 80. Looks like it'll be a cooler day up north, mid 70s to around 80 for many of you. This morning's thunderstorms shook Hutch's house in Moorhead as the lightning hit the ground. Awesome lightning shot there. Thanks so much for taking the time to upload. Friday, quiet, 85 as we head into the weekend. A spotty thunder shower, 84. Hot on Sunday. Next week, increasing thunderstorm chances. And yes, we could have some strong ones, particularly on Monday. We'll keep you posted to that. For now, we're going to monitor these storms tonight, all night. All right, thanks, Hutch.